there guys it's just me today we're getting so close to finishing this coop and today i am out here it's a little chilly i'm gonna get the chicken coop cleaned up as much as possible so when Taylor gets home tonight, we can lay down the vinyl flooring. <laughs> I know, we've had a few people be like, why are you doing vinyl flooring? First of all, I mentioned this in a previous video, but we got it secondhand at the Habitat Race Store, and it was ridiculously cheap for some big rolls of it. And we've seen other people use that with success and easy cleaning, so that's the main priority. And then also we think the floor with a protective layer on it will last a lot longer that way too. Since it gets dark so early, I am coming out here to try and get this cleaned up so that when he gets home, we don't have to clean up and do a project. We can just get going right on the project. I do have the ducks in here because their big pool is in here. So they're enjoying the construction zone. Hey guys. This isn't something I got a chance to film because Taylor did it the other night, just in the dark. <laughs> this friend Hunter had just gotten here to visit, so I didn't want to bother them. They were just hanging out out here, working on the coop together, and it was dark, and I think I was making dinner or something. But you can see we've got the doors on. They're primed. They still need to be painted. We still need to put trim on, and we still need to put handles and latches and that kind of stuff. Apparently I should have brought a trash bag out here and I didn't think about that. I'm gonna try and scrounge something up real quick to toss lots of little bits and pieces of things that just need to get thrown away and haven't yet. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is gonna be it for me for now. Hopefully I'll be back out here with you later and we can put the floor in the coop. I think Taylor and Hunter will both be working on it hopefully. And if we get that done soon enough, since this is all cleaned up, we're gonna start working on the roosts, which is really exciting. I cannot wait for these guys to have a lot more space to roost and a lot more head height, and they're just gonna be such happy little birds once we get them in here. I have a little pile of stuff that I need to bring inside, and that was just stuff that's either trash or things that need to go into our laundry room slash garage <laughs> that we have been avoiding bringing in because we're usually in a rush at night to get back inside, so. See you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna try and not get a video of your butt crack. It's gonna be pretty hard.
laughing at how pliable it is. I was able to get some decent footage last night for you putting that vinyl wrap out um it got dark real fast yesterday and the guys were working in the dark i'm gonna show it to you right now i just brought <laughs> chaos i just brought the tape measure out here i have taylor's big hoodie and <laughs> vest on because it's kind of chilly today i'm gonna measure some roofs because taylor's gonna try and stop at lowe's on the way home get some two by fours and we are gonna try and build roosts tonight i'm sure you guys have seen this pile it's been in the background of our videos since we cleared this area especially from this tree these are all cedar branches that we've cut kind of to a similar length and these are gonna be their roosts. At least some of them are, not all of them. We're not, not gonna do this many roosts. That's, that would be excessive. <laughs> Although, who knows? Maybe they would fit in the uh, mega coop. We don't need that many. <laughs> come here, roost. Do you wanna come play? kind of give them some variety in the diameter or the thickness of the branches because some of them definitely are smaller birds and then Ego is like a big massive basketball. Since they're different kinds of chickens, all of their feet are very differing in sizes. So we want to give them options of like what's comfortable for them. This probably sounds ridiculous to you, but that's just the way my brain thinks. So I'm going to try and pick a variety of sizes Go lay them out in there and then measure like what we want the width of them to be because they're all roughly the same but they are like we are going to have to saw some ends off to make sure that they actually all fit in there. Start with eight. Pesto really wanted to know what was going on. She was squawking, so I figured, who am I to deny her? Bring her in here to hang out with me. This is your new home. She's in the nesting box. I'll try and turn you around. Do you like that pesto? Back to business. I'm gonna set these up here. I tried to grab ones that were like roughly the same length because some of them were a little shorter. So 
so I guess I need to just see how many deep we want to go. Oh, I should have put my trash jeans on for this. Whew, slippery in here. Of course, my camera died, but I've got my phone. Okay, so I think this is gonna be the plan. I will try and quickly explain what we're doing here, but you're gonna see it later when Taylor does it, so. Basically, the gist of this is we're gonna have a board running between these two, perpendicular to them, so that they can mount to it. We'll have a board that's going the same way on the end, and then we'll- Oh, hi! Someone just jumped out to say hello. Then we'll have a couple little vertical support boards to keep them sturdy. All right, I can't show you this, but I need to basically just measure whatever one of these is the shortest so that we know how long we have to trim the other ones down. You were roosting? Yep. A rooster? It's probably strong enough for a chicken or 20. How much does a chicken weigh? Like five pounds. I go, I go might weigh like seven. How many chickens do I weigh? Uh, I don't know how much you weigh. <laughs> a lot of chickens. Rude. This one's just gonna be suspended in screws. It's not even gonna barely. I mean, it'll suck the wood in. Yeah. Once I you get screws into it. But. So what I would do if I were you is hold it like this, so you can brace yourself against the frame even though the okay. piece of wood's not really even going to touch it. So I've been inside most of the day cleaning the house and just working on kitchen stuff and Taylor's been out here working on trimming the coop and have you been doing anything else today? Mm, no. Nope. Just coop trim? Yeah. I'm putting these trim pieces on the doors and these are just so like we get an actual closure. There's nothing behind these doors so there's kind of just like a little gap and these kind of close that up and then once these are on we'll put latches on to actually like hold these up against the coop. These are just like doors for cleaning, so we probably won't open them more than, well, once a week hopefully. <laughs> we'll just see how, how dirty, how quick it gets in there and how often we have to refresh their bedding. But uh, once these are on, like I said, we can latch these doors shut and then I have to do it on the next set of doors and on the coop doors. But then this thing is like closed up enough for the chickens to actually live in here. So that's my goal today. <laughs>
the coop isn't quite finished but it's to the point where we can at least get the chickens in here overnight and then put the ducks in here in the morning the ducks can just stay in their mini coop overnight because it's supposed to rain the literal entire day tomorrow and their little run area right now gets so sloppy and gross and there's not really anywhere that they can keep dry in there so we're gonna put them in here because then they'll have this entire coop to hide under while it's raining and hopefully that will keep them looking like less less like drowned rats yep. Okay, let's get some hay in here and then we will start bringing the chickens in. <laughs> Okay guys, that should be good enough. Let's go get some chickens. running around checking it out we got this door open and they're picking up bugs you want me to break open the pumpkin for them yes please good for now we'll come check on them later and lock up their door <laughs> but they've got their pumpkin and their treats gotta put these guys in the other coop call it a night out here yep. okay guys it's obviously raining right now which we knew was supposed to happen this we're supposed to get we're supposed to be getting some of the like tropical storm leftovers that are happening along the coast today. So it's supposed to rain like the entire day. At least it's not too super cold. It's like 40. But we had the chickies in there last night. I'm about to let them out and see how their night was. Hey everybody. You're nice and toasty in there. Obviously, we still need to build them a ramp, but they're used to hopping in and out of their mini coop, so I think they'll be okay. For today, Taylor's probably going to build the ramp tomorrow, since we're having people over today. And then we also need to get all the latches and stuff on the doors, but our run is very secure. Come 
on, guys. Tofu loves it. Yeah, you're a good girl. Hey, mister, are you ready to go in? Someone insists on going outside even when it's raining, and then he gets mad about it. Is that you? You want to go get dry? Oh, you're soaked. Come on, let's go inside. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, little guy. All right, guys, we did it. We got the chickens in the coop, even if it's still not completely finished. They're in there. They're gonna stay dry today. And I'm so, so happy for them. It's a huge relief. With that being said, I'm gonna go inside and get ready to have some friends over. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.